Good morning, Libras. Okay, so I'm gonna do your reading for October 2018. Um, I have a new format here. Um, first, there's the general reading, and then the second one is your advice from the Romance Angels Oracle deck. And then the third one is where I draw cards that um, say something about your situation with a particular zodiac sign. And then the fourth one, there's the advice given to you. Oh, wait. It's not the advice. It's the one where you ask questions. Just ask one question, and then I pulled out a card from the Angel Answers Oracle deck. So that will be your answer. If it does not resonate, sorry, you know, there are other readers you can check out. Um, and yeah, feel free to do that too. So anyway, I'm going to get on with your reading. Um, what I see here is like you've probably been waiting for a person to come forward. Um, and maybe for some of you, you've been weighing out options, you know, going back and forth. Should I just go for it and, you know, tell them or ask them what what is going on here? Um, and in a way, it kind of seems like you're getting impatient about it. Um, it's like you don't want to wait anymore. Um, and if you do go ask, it's like... It's better than not knowing anything at all. At least if you do ask, you'll figure out if they like you or not. And if not, then cool, then you can move on. If they do, then hey, what have you been waiting for, right? So, what it's like, it seems here, it's you're almost gonna do it impulsively it's not that you didn't think about it, but that was your reason, your reasoning behind just going for it. And if you do go for it, um, yeah, you're here with the Knight of Cups. Just, I'm gonna go for it and tell him or ask him or her, you know. And as for this other person, um, maybe this delay in you know, between you guys is caused by them not wanting to make a move also because they've been hurt before and, you know, they're fearing some sort of rejection. Um, but the thing here that works well for you is that if you go, go ahead and just, you know, ask them about it, they actually like someone who takes charge in a way um because he got the emperor in reverse it's like they actually like domineering domineering people um so maybe before you do how about give it a test do you like it when people take charge then if they say yes then maybe it's a good time to <laughs> it'd be good for you guys to start having that talk because the way the cards are laid out here, it's like, I'm not going to wait anymore. I'm going to go ahead and do it. And this guy won't really, this person won't really make a move. They want someone to take charge. And when someone does, you know, offer this cup of love, you get the two of cups. It's a, you know, it's a result of mirroring energies loving your bond this is gonna get closer and your troubles about you know do they like me or not there it's just gonna melt away it's gonna clear it out um yeah if you decide to do that i really 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 hope it works for you so anyway the advice for you from the romance angel is it's it's quite amazing like i'm using all the like four decks and I love how they all tie together because what you got here is one, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And then when you do make the effort, have that heart to heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. 
And the third one is honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So it's it seems like it's it's a very positive thing to put yourself out there when you decide to go for it. Because apparently it's gonna have to be you to do it. Good luck! <clears throat> okay. So what I have here, if you're a Libra dealing with an Aquarius, it's the Terror in Reverse. Um, you might be ready to leave something behind and go for new ideas. Like trying out new things and all that. And then if you're a... Uh, a Libra dealing with a Pisces um, you might be dealing with someone who has like this energy that's unreliable um, it's the page of wands in reverse so you know it's like it's advising you to be careful with a person who you see you think seems wishy-washy for Pisces, Aries, for Libras dealing with an Aries, um, if you're just gonna go for someone just because you're afraid to be alone, don't do it. I mean, you know, there, there's no rush really. If you're meant to be with a person, you're gonna meet them, you're gonna be with them. But if you're just gonna you know, just for the do it for the heck of it. Save yourself some trouble, both of you, right? Um, Libra dealing with a Taurus. Um, you got the Fool card. It's like you would probably resonate with this reading if you're dealing with a Taurus, and because it's like saying you're just letting all everything go and you're just gonna go for it you're gonna take the risk good for you um and you know we, the full card also represents taking a risk for love and new relationships because you know it's, it's the first card in the deck it's a start of something new so yeah it seems very encouraging right um libra's dealing with the gemini um, you're probably feeling the urge to take action. So, yeah, go for it. Come forward. The chariot card. Go for it. Um, for Libras dealing with cancers, you've got the Ace of Swords. It's saying to face issues head on. Like, if you want to make things clear with someone, just... Hey, let's let's lay everything out. Um, and that way, you know, if this um, situation you're in is worth the time or effort to be getting into, then it's good to know now. So, you know, it'll help both of you. Um, cancer, Leo. For Libras dealing with Leos, maybe you're feeling quite tired of this situation. Um, because you got the Ten of Wands. And it's either one of you is very tired of this back and forth. Or, yeah, maybe it's a good time to, you know, for a time out and heal first. And then... Maybe you can have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Cancer, Le Cancer Leo, Virgo. For Libras dealing with Virgos, it's, it's a nice card. Ten of Cups, Cat, Dog. Okay, it's not focusing. Anyway, it's a cat and dog being harmonious with each other. Um, it's a peaceful time and, you know, it's something that is stable where you can enjoy the partnership. Uh, Leo, 
Virgo, Libra. So if you're dealing with another Libra, this says like good news, um, a lot of happiness to look forward to, um, a celebration of moving forward. Yay! <laughs> um, if you're a Libra dealing with a Scorpio, um, you got the devil in reverse. Maybe you're dealing with a person who's very clingy. Or maybe controlling. If they're controlling or they have this abusive vibe around them, you know, there's always, always, always other people who can treat you better. Always. So don't be afraid to let go of that. Because, you know, worst case scenario, you're gonna... Okay, maybe I shouldn't say it because... Anyway. Um, yeah. If... Please, if you are in an abusive relationship, it's time to let go. Find the strength to do it. Because everyone deserves a safe life, you know, to live in safety. It's like one of the most basic needs any human person has. So provide that for yourself if you're in that kind of relationship. Anyway, for Libras dealing with Sagittarius, you have the Nine of Cups. You are in entering into a new phase where everything is gonna be good and you know there's a lot to celebrate so yeah maybe if you resonate with the general reading then good for you and lastly oh my goodness with the cap i don't know what it is like lately those i've been reading who are dealing with capricorns it's always it's always a good outcome like new love and this one's saying King of Wands. It's it's like you're dealing with someone who is very, very, very passionate. And, you know, if it ties up with your general reading, then not only are you going to have this wonderful connection, you're going to have some really, really good time with them. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways. So... I am on the fourth part of the reading, so if you got your question ready, the answer for you is don't stop. Don't stop believing. Yeah, um, so I guess forward movement. Move forward. Go for it. You got like two knights here indicating action. Go for it. And you got the Knight of Wands for action, Knight of Cups, emotion. Two of Cups. I really hope you, you know, if this is you, if it resonates with you, I really hope it turns out so well. Because, you know, I know when you take risks, we all want a positive outcome. So, yeah. Good luck, Libras. And I really hope this October turns out very well for you. Alright? So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And feel free to comment anything you want. As long as, please keep it positive. Okay, so we spread some good juju around. Alright, you guys have a good day. Bye!